So we have learned how to use Ansible facts to get the system information and control our playbook execution based on that. So in this video, we will learn something more uh, interesting one which is called custom facts or Ansible custom facts. So Ansible custom facts are like Ansible facts because you know Ansible facts it will collect a lot of information like um, OS information. Uh, okay, let's see what other information uh, like uh, IP address, uh, the kernel information, memory, interface, all those things. Let's say you need some specific uh, information about the system which is not part of Ansible gathering. How can you achieve that? That's where you use Ansible custom facts. So custom facts is very simple. You create some specific facts inside the system and Ansible will automatically collect these details as part of the uh, facts gathering. Let's say uh, you have a server which is a database server and you have some specific variable and you are use that. So how we can add the custom facts? So it's very simple. So we will go to the because it's uh, based on the host. So we will log into the okay. We belong to the node. Uh, so it can be node 1, node 2 or any node of you or inventory then we have to create a directory if it does not exist so I am going to create okay, of course I have to use sudo etc ansible slash facts dot d so we have created this directory if it does not exist otherwise you can use the existing one you can use any other directory as well in case you have some preference so if you are using anything other than this directory you have to tell ansible to pick the custom facts from that directory remember that so for the demo we will use the same directory and inside the directory we are going to create a file so sudo vim etc ansible fact so we like web dot fact okay so here i am putting okay web details because it's a web server okay i want to mention some custom uh, facts so web package i put nginx then web underscore port i want to use 80 in case you are you have something different you can mention that let's say i want to add some facts like um for example uh business so inside the business I put like a criticality equal to high. You can put any any custom variable. Okay. Now we have this content here. So uh, we have some custom facts defined in the node one under two category. You can have sub sub category, no restriction on that one. Now we go to the Ansible node and we will use something like Ansible then you want to run on node one then use uh, minus m setup of course you want to test verify it's working or not then you are going to filter out the specific local variable so in setup there is a option you can pass arguments and you can just mention and see the filtering needed so here we put like a filter equal to ansible underscore local i need only this content see so instead of uh, ansible display everything it will just only display the ansible underscore local which is the custom facts we set up inside so you can see your web there's a business criticality then we have seen the web details so this is the file name we have used web dot fact so it will be like ansible underscore local then web then inside that we have two category one is a business and you have two we have one item called criticality high then we have another two under web details same right okay this is custom facts how you are going to use this so inside the playbook you can call this variable and use based on the value let's say you want to install some package based on the custom fact rather than the one you decide inside the playbook you can use that so you can call like ansible underscore local dot web dot uh, this if this variable is defined of course you have to use this if not defined okay proceed with that okay uh, we are not going to install but we will do the demo here 
so we have a uh, inventory the same thing we have antiblock cfg same no different then we will use vim side.yaml then a test playbook name test custom act okay then host i use nodes then task i want to try a debug task name get web details i want to debug only then here i message and say ansible underscore local okay let's print the full one and we will filter it out now we want to run it ansible underscore play ansible playbook setoryml okay what is happening here you can see we have defined this variable only on node one so what will happen on two is blank means there is nothing there is no local uh, ansible local or ansible custom facts okay it's fine now we have to add some decision inside our playbook you want to execute this ansible dot local dot web dot okay let's uh, see it was like a web dot business dot criticality okay web dot business dot criticality you want to print only this value let's try this one okay it's printing high for node one and node two it failed because there is no object there is no variable available with such name how to uh, handle this one so inside the playbook you have an option called when so this is the decision right so you are telling ansible underscore local web dot because this variable is not available on node 2 so business dot criticality is defined so you execute this only if it's there i mean if, if variable is not there do not print or do not do the task it, now it's a debug task okay you can say do not print if something installed you can say okay do not uh, do the task if it's not defined let's try let's try this one do we have any error no because node one it will print because the variable is available node two it will skip so you can control this custom fact and collection because if we don't we know uh, some uh, machines we we have not set the custom facts it will fail but still you can control uh, based on the defined value okay let's say if you want to print another another value instead of um, uh, business criticality i want to print the port so what you can try so the web i use what was it i forget web underscore web details okay web dot web underscore details dot web underscore port okay okay it's printing 80 okay uh, that's it for the custom facts you can set custom fat and use it inside your ansible playbook for uh, this use case let's say you want to define some database port or you want to define some a uh, user list for the server so let's say you want to uh, decide okay this server need uh, 10 users all the time so you can keep this user list inside your custom fact variable here and uh, based on the custom fact ansible will automatically create the user account or keep the user account or can delete the unwanted user account okay so this is possible using custom facts and uh, that's it for the custom facts video uh, if you have any question, please ask in the comment box and I will try my best to reply. And uh, please subscribe to the channel so you will get, uh, get all the latest videos on DCs and all other videos. And see you next time with another video. Thank you.